Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, and today I'm going to be uh, showing one of my favorite lines in all of Star Wars. Uh, this is a line that I think is highly underrated. It doesn't really get a lot of attention nowadays, as everybody seems to be kind of fixated on the uh, vintage collection, which is, don't get me wrong, a fantastic line. Uh, but I really enjoyed this line. I think there's a lot of great figures in this line, and it was actually really hard for me to narrow down uh, for me, uh, my 10 favorite figures from this line. Um, and what this is, is the uh, 30th anniversary line uh, that came out in 2007. And uh, this line, uh, they all came with a uh, coin. And I, I have it over there. It's okay. It, you could actually buy a um, separately like a coin album where you would put like all the coins in and that became its own thing as well but I keep everything in package so uh, I never took them out and one of the things which I loved about this line is the artwork on the packaging is probably the best uh, Star Wars has ever done um, because everything is pretty much drawn it's not uh it's not photos like even the way um the vintage collection is now these are actually drawn and they just look so amazing i i just love this line it actually might be my favorite uh 3.75 line that ever came out so without further ado i'm going to jump right into it this is going to be the top 10 um this isn't like the top 10 most expensive or anything like that i do have a couple expensive figures in here but that's not what put them in uh, my list. Uh, for me, I put them in just basically uh, aesthetically how cool looking these figures are uh, to me personally, and that's how I came up with this list. So at number 10, I have the uh, 501st Legion uh, Trooper. And just check out this artwork on these. I mean, these are just phenomenal figures. So some of these figures came with a silver coin, and some of them came uh, with a gold one. I believe, I'm not really honestly sure what the distinction is. Um, I think the gold ones came out later. Um, but, um, yeah. And most of the figures in this line are not terribly expensive. In fact, there's figures in this line which are the same exact figures in the vintage collection. But the vintage collection figures are way more expensive. Just because of the, uh, the cards that they're on. And... Personally, I actually enjoy this line more. Um, like I said, I just think the um, artwork on this one is just it's better. It, it's kind of unique. Um, I, I just love this one. At number nine, I have, and this figure I don't think has ever come out a, aside from this line. And it is Han Solo with the uh, torture rack. Look at that. That's awesome from Empire Strikes Back. I don't think this is the, I'm fairly certain this has never come out in any other line. That's the back. At number eight, uh, one of the coolest characters in the Force Unleashed video games is uh, Rom Coda. Such a great uh, series of games. I was just talking to a buddy of mine, uh, Man Cave Collectibles, who... Um, was really kind of unaware of uh, this series. I was telling him, I was like, you got to pick up uh, the Force Unleashed games. They're not that expensive on the uh, Xbox 360 or even on the PS3. Especially the first one. Just a phenomenal game. Great story. Um, next is the uh, Clone Commander. And I just love the way this figure looks. Like, he just has so much detail on him with uh, the pads and the gun. And it, it's just really cool looking and again the artwork is just so neat and plus to top it off it, it looks great with the coin next is probably my favorite mace windu figure ever um this one is cool because it's from episode three and it's basically has him deflecting the uh Darth Sidious, uh lightning this is number six you can see the uh, lightning effect on the lightsaber there. Just pull that back for the full effect. The back. 
Next, and this is uh, a figure that I actually got relatively recently, and it was one that I was trying to track down for a while. I got it at um, off of Order 66 uh, Friday Night Claim Sales on Facebook, uh, which if you guys are not aware, check it out on Facebook on the uh, community of Star Wars Collectors. Every Friday night, uh, they do a claim sale, and it's it's a lot of fun. So um, this is C-3PO with Salacious Crumb, or Salacious B. Crumb as he's known. And I just love this. A Salacious B. Crumb uh, is a hard-to-come-by figure. Uh, he only came, I believe, with this one and a two-pack with um, uh, the character with the green skin, the woman, uh, Sula, I believe her name is. I can't recall, but... Uh, yeah, he only came with her and in this one. And here it's pretty cool because you see him poking at C-3PO's eye and you see the green ooze coming out of a C-3PO's eye. It's just a neat little two-pack and I always liked it. I always thought that was a funny uh, scene in Return of the Jedi. So that was number five. Next is a concept figure, uh, which I thought was really cool. Uh, it looks... It, it it looks really awesome. This figure almost looks like it, it came out of like Mad Max or something. And it's a pre-cyborg General Grievous. And what it is is like what General Grievous essentially looked like before he became a cyborg. And it's just a really cool concept figure. And like I said, it looks like it's something straight out of like Mad Max or something. Here's the back. I would read this, but my gosh, yeah, I'm, I can barely see it. I'm gonna struggle too much. Uh, my eyesight's too too bad, and it's like very, you know, the way it's written, it's just very uh, light. So I'll put it up here for you guys so you can read it quickly. You can even pause. It's the beauty of YouTube. Next is, uh, this is probably one of the most expensive figures in the line, if not the most expensive. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the most expensive figure in the line, and it's a cool figure. Uh, it's a great character from the Knights of the Old Republic um, time period, and I got this um, pretty much when it came out, so I didn't pay the crazy price that it goes for now. I mean, it doesn't go for anything crazy. It goes for Anywhere between 125 and 150 but I remember I got this for maybe about $20, $25, uh, you know, 15 years ago or whatever it was, 14 years ago. And it is uh, Darth Revan. And I remember I got this at a convention. Such an awesome character. And again, the artwork on this, just the way uh, with the purple uh, there, the way it's coming off. Um, I think it looks great. Um, yeah, he was a uh, fan's choice. I believe it was like a vote uh, to figure out which figure would be put in the line, and he won the uh, fan vote. And if I remember correctly, I got this at a Wizard World uh, Comic-Con, you know, back in the day. Yeah, awesome figure. This one also... It's not a particularly expensive figure um, at number two, but I just love the way it looks, and it's kind of unique. Um, they have ghost figures or spirit figures before, but I think this is the best-looking one. It probably encapsulates what a, um, a Jedi spirit looked what a Jedi spirit looks like, like we know what a Jedi spirit looks like. But from the movie, the way they look uh, in the movie... Um, and it's Anakin Skywalker's uh, spirit. I just love the way they made it look. And it's just... It's great. And surprisingly, this is not an expensive figure. It, maybe I'm... I don't know. Maybe maybe I like it more than other people do. But I, I just love it. Um, the way you know, the, the figure looks. And it's kind of translucent. Here's the back. They had um, it, the Force Ghost figures in the Power of the Force line. They came out in the mid-90s. And those, it was uh, old Obi-Wan, uh, the original Anakin Skywalker, and Yoda on Endor. And it was a cool little play set, but the, ba the figures themselves basically looked exactly like they do in the hologram figures, which it's like, okay, you know, whatever. It's, it's cool that they released it, but um, if they would have released 
you know, the figures looking like this on the Endor set. Now, that would have been awesome. And my number one favorite figure from this line, I actually got this relatively recently. Um, it took, because I had this on the Legacy Collection card, but it, this figure. However, I always thought the artwork on this one is just so badass. Uh, I love it. The figure looks incredible. Um, it's from, again, from The Force Unleashed, one of my favorite video games, uh, or Star Wars video games. And it is the battle-damaged Darth Vader after his battle with uh, Starkiller, his uh, apprentice. Man, this is a great-looking figure. Check this out, guys. Look at that figure with the helmet and, like, he's all beat up. He's missing, you know, parts of his armor. And look at the artwork there of him. I mean, that's just incredible, I think. Sorry about the glare. Um, but overall, look at how cool looking this figure is. It's really something. Um, I got this not that long ago. Um, I want to say I paid maybe about 50 eh, Maybe even less, maybe $30. It's not a particularly hugely expensive figure. Like I said, I had it in the Legacy Collection. Um, and the figure's the same. But it always bothered me that I didn't have it on this card, which I love so much. So I finally just I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. I don't care that I have it on another card. Uh, so I eventually got it. And I'm super happy that I did. Because this has turned out to be my favorite figure. And this one is one of the few figures uh, that actually did not come with a coin. I, uh, I just noticed uh, that he and Rom Coda don't, so that means the Force Unleashed figures never came with coins. But they're still in the 30th anniversary line. So there you have it, guys. Uh, this is the top 10 uh, figures that I have in the 30th anniversary uh, Star Wars line. Let me know what you guys think. Um, were you guys fans of this uh, line? Uh, what do you think of it? Uh, what are your favorite figures from the line? Uh, be sure to comment, yeah, like, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, take care.